meet your boy, Stark. All right, that should do it. Won't be any Latvarian air support bothering us on our way to Castle Doom now. We'll take it on foot and bring in Bravo Team once we hit checkpoint three. On foot? You're kidding, right? Do you have any idea how little arch support I get in this outfit? What a socket, webhead. Our socks make it worse, actually. All right, ladies, let's move now. hours. We've determined there's a massive power source operating within the city. Potent, but unstable. If you can take it out, you may find your hike to checkpoint four a lot less troublesome. You heard the lady. Let's find that power source. Long way from home, aren't you boys? I figured I'd have to wait till I got back to the good old US of A to try out the Tinkerer's new toys. But instead... I can give you a preview right now, free of charge. Keep your eye on the floor, boys! <laughs> aren't really SOP for you boys, are they? How'd Fury get you? Same way he got you two, I expect. Everyone owes that old warhorse favors, and he always calls them in sooner or later. Could be much worse than Come this. In. Yeah, but don't you guys wonder, uh, I mean, invading a foreign country? Like we're soldiers of fortune or something? I've known Nick Fury a very long time, Spider-Man. We wouldn't be doing this without a good reason. Oh, wringing your little hands over the poor Latverians, huh? You think they do the same for you? Colonel Fury? What do you have for us? Mr. President, one of our ongoing investigations into supervillains recently had a major break. We've always been aware that many of these criminals who run around in high-tech armor were getting their materials from an underground figure, Phineas Mason, a.k.a. the Tinkerer. But what we didn't realize until recently is that the Tinkerer himself is being supported by someone outside the country, specifically Lucia von Bartis, elected Prime Minister of Latveria. As you know, the link to a foreign power makes this, by definition, international terrorism. The evidence is right here, sir. We're under attack. Trust me, they've earned what's coming to them. After this elevator, it's almost a straight shot right to Von Bardis's front door. They know we're coming. Could get a bit hairier from here on out. Let's just say I got a message for their Prime Minister. Something you just can't say over the phone. Now you don't need any more detail than that. Let's quit the jibber-jabber and get this job done already. Ah, oh, now you gotta hurt my feelings. Time to move out, ladies. Going up. Head left. This wall leads to the castle gates. More supervillain tourists, huh? Let's get them!
Lucia, we're home. Great. Here we go again. Hey, Fury, where's that Bravo team you've been trying to reach? Ah, communication still jammed. Go round them up. And you just volunteered. What? And leave all the fun to you girls? Bite me, Fury. No time to argue, Shorty. Take Wes with you. Locate Bravo team and find another way into that castle. You heard the man, Webhead. Let's move. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Respect. <laughs> Stuck out here, Bravo. Take down those shield projectors so we can get in. I ain't here to fight you, Von Bars. I'm here to make an example of you. This place is going down, along with your little operation. Should help deter anyone thinking along the same lines. So much for your president's friendly words to me. Or does he even know you're here? You got a simple choice, Toots. Either come with us quietly. Or die when we turn this place into a big pile of Latvarian bricks. You'll pay for this, Nicholas Fury. I promise you that. Take them! Uh, I wasn't quite ready for combat testing, but you forced my hand. Welcome back to Stark Tower, our base of operations. As soon as you're ready, head over to the briefing station for our next mission. If you like, take a break to chat with your teammates. Hey there, what's up? What else? The caviar! Okay, actually, I hate that stuff. How does anyone eat it? Okay, okay. Sometimes it's nice to hang out with my fellow masked freaks, you know? There, I said it. You happy? Yeah, but once in a while it's fun to team up. Heck, I used to team up pretty much every month. Ooh, bad karma. I still have nightmares about that gig. Thanks for bringing it up. Well, it's been real. But I've got a pie in the oven. Later. Hail, mortal! Little hath changed of late. My father Odin continues to punish that vile victor Von Doom and my brother Loki for their treachery of years past.
That is a human concept. There will be no parole for those wretched souls. Ah, well, a long tale, my friend. Best told over a good meal. I shall regale you with it another time, perhaps. I'm sure you would, mortal. But now is not the time. Alas, I have other duties. Farewell. Things have been pretty quiet around here lately. I suppose we should have known it was too good to last. Miss Marble has been investigating an international gun-running ring in the city. A lead identified this Roosevelt Island construction site as a front for their operations. And last night she reported discovering unexpected tunnels running beneath it. This morning she failed to check in. Carol can definitely take care of herself, but we'll need to follow up on this just in case. Let's start by investigating those tunnels. How much more of this you think you can take, hero? Now don't keep telling me you came in here alone. Where are the others, huh? Right behind you. Come on, you really think? Oh. As you can probably tell, this op is a lot bigger than we thought. We need to figure out what these Latvarians are up to. Of course, I've done some recon already. There's an old factory above these tunnels. If we destroy the weapons they've stockpiled there, it's bound to slow down their operation. We'll hold this line. Go help the boss get everything ready. I will hold them off, madam. That won't be necessary, my dear. Take your course. If our friends here wish to join us on our little fools, so much the better. If only Nick Fury were with you to witness this firsthand. But he will see it soon. The whole world will. your home, the same way you destroyed mine. And if it were only that simple, I am no longer human, as you can see. Fury ripped that from me one year ago today. Now I am a bomb. Nothing more, nothing less. A bomb that will kill me. And you just lived a few after tonight's devastating terror attack. Inside sources are indicating that the terrorists may have been from Latveria. Furthermore, they claim last night's attack was in direct retaliation for a secret, unsanctioned shield assault on Castle Doom exactly one year ago. Shield director Nicholas Fury, now wanted for questioning in connection with these claims, has disappeared. In his absence, Commander Maria Hill has been named Acting Director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Superheroes potentially linked to the Latvarian mission have refused to comment, leaving the rest of us to wonder why this horrible tragedy had to happen. You hear what they're saying about that mission in Latveria? Call me shot, Steve. I have suspected your sanction. You have suspected? 
Nice of you to say so at the time. Given a choice between Fury and the government, who are you gonna trust? Hmm. Tough call. That's why I didn't even ask you to make it. So, thanks to you, all this is on our hands. No, not on yours. The evidence is right here, sir. We're under attack. Colonel Fury, since Dr. Doom's death, Lucia von Bardas has bent over backwards to mend the ties between America and Latveria. We got her elected. This year alone, we lent her country $72 million in aid. Yes, sir. And it hurts to imagine what she's done with that money, knowing what we now know. Thank you, Colonel. I have a recommended response scenario for the city. That won't be necessary. Sir, if I may, this situation is sure to escalate. I can... We have a pleasant relationship with Lucia. We'll handle things, diplomatically. I kept you in the dark so that if something like this ever happened, your consciences would be clear. It's on me, and I'm taking the fall for this one. You got that one. Damn it, Stark. You think these things grow on trees? I'm sure you've got plenty of backups, old man. You always do. Enjoy your exile, Fury. Wherever you are. We'll just stay here and keep picking up the pieces. What a mess this is turning out to be. When you're ready, we can plan our next move at the briefing station. Hey there. I'm fine, thanks. I can take quite a bit of punishment, but uh, I was glad to have some help show up when it did. Oh, the puns by far. There are some things you can't unhear. Sure did. I'm glad I wasn't part of that Ludvarian strike a year ago. What a mess that started. I wouldn't blame them if they did at this point. Sorry. I have to say goodbye for now. Our worst fears seem to be coming to pass. Congress is debating a new bill. The Superhuman Registration Act. It would require all heroes to register with the government whether they want to or not. Which would mean the politicians get to tell us who the bad guys are. We need to make sure this thing doesn't happen. To that end, we're heading down to Washington. I've been offered a chance to testify before a congressional subcommittee, and I'm going to rally the people down there. We need to get a grassroots resistance movement going before the SRA can gain any momentum. We want you to come along in case there's any trouble. We've got a Quinjet waiting to fly us down there. Let's go. We're coming up on DC, team, but the situation has radically changed during our flight, and not for the better. The city just came under attack by an unknown terrorist force. We're going to coordinate defense efforts with S.H.I.E.L.D. Buckle up, and be ready for anything. This is S.H.I.E.L.D. Lieutenant Farrell. We've got some of the Senators prepped for evac, but the zone's too hot to lift off. Eliminate the enemy forces in the area, so we can get those people out. And you, dumb as nail shield clones, I saw what you did to those cherry blossoms back there. You think those things grow on trees? And you, you think it makes me less of a man if I came here for the cherry blossom festival, huh? You're laughing with your eyes. I can see it. Fine. Time for a little boss battle, suckers! Ouch! I knew I should have sprung for the health meter enlargement I saw in that email. You're probably trying to clear out these terrorists, huh? Can I join the party? Oh, 
I'll join on any basis you want. As long as I get the keys to the Stark Tower Executive Washroom. All clear, Commander. I'll take things from here. Titanium Man seems to be behind all this. He just made off with some senators and took them underground. We'll cover the capital. You get down to the subway and pursue that tin-plated Russian and his pals. Sorry, I didn't have time to say pretty please with sugar on top. Now will you get going? Time. The Americans, your precious representative is safe. For now. Do you have the courage to save him? Let us see. Senator Leva from New York State, good to meet you. You've done us a great service. You heroes are okay in my book. Maybe we should put this registration business on hold. Sounds like a fine idea, sir. You know, it might be hard to believe, but underneath these fancy costumes, we're just ordinary folks with ordinary problems. Oh, I believe you're more than ordinary. Amazing or spectacular comes to mind. Well, best of luck trying to catch that maniac. Like our state motto says, Excelsior. Don't I know you from somewhere? You don't look like the voting type. Yeah, whatever. Hey, guys, I'll take these pencil pushers back to the Capitol. Give me a call if you want to hang out again. Once again, a nation divided. Only this time, you will fall! You... you think you've won, but you haven't. You'll soon see. You have already lost everything. And so, to answer your question, Mr. Senator, in spite of these recent events, I don't believe forcing superheroes to register with the government is the answer. This law would split the hero community right down the middle, with consequences I'm not sure any of us want to ponder. Hey. Was that really your best shot? Sneaking around doesn't become you, Steve. Maybe I'll need the practice. Maybe we all will. Don't be so melodramatic. This whole thing would affect you least of all. You're already deputized. You almost sound like you agree with them. This registration act would tear down everything we've done. Destroy a century-old tradition of... I'm trying to save it, Steve. As much of it as I can, anyway. Don't you see where this is headed? All it's going to take is one more slip-up by anyone in a cape, and we'll be lucky if registration is the worst they do. Just turn us all into criminals. Hunt us all down. No, they won't, Tony. Not in my country. Now return to our special live episode of The New Warriors, coming to you straight from Stamford, Connecticut, where the Warriors have just been spotted by their super villain quarry. Looks like it's on. I've got cold heart, you guys. Hey, somebody snag Nitro. He's rabbiting. Don't worry, Skeeball. I'm on it. Oh. 
On your feet, Nitro. And don't bother trying any of your stupid exploding tricks. Oh, baby, don't you even know? <laughs> You're playing with the big boys now. Reports now coming in from Stamford, Connecticut, indicate a massive explosion in a residential neighborhood. Just over 12 hours ago now, and preliminary casualties are said to be over 600. In Washington, rumblings on whether superhero reform should be brought to the table. Following last week's devastating explosion, Congress has rushed through passage of the Superhuman Registration Act, with the president expected to sign... I won't do it. I'm sorry, was it not clear I was giving you an order? You're asking me to arrest people who risk their lives for this country every day. No, I'm ordering you to obey the will of the American people, Captain. Either you help us bring them in, or we'll bring you in. Weapons down, gentlemen. Or I... Drank dart, now! Uh. Take him down! Take him down! Uh. If you want to stay conscious. You idiot. You were trying to save lives. Of all the people to go underground, Captain America. Now every superhero who disagrees with the act suddenly has a leader. Maybe we should hold off until... That won't be necessary, Mr. President. Registration can go forward as planned. We'll take care of Captain America. And with the passage of the Superhuman Registration Act earlier this week, superheroes around the country are being forced to choose a side. Do they register with the government to uphold the law or become part of an underground resistance movement? So far... Can you believe this is really going down? The act kicks in at midnight, but word is S.H.I.E.L.D.'s gonna be here sooner than that, taking signatures or prisoners. I wanna talk to Cage about it, but he's too busy arguing with Mr. Fantastic over there. Maybe you can break into their little powwow and get some sense out of them. Understand your skepticism, Luke, but you have to believe me. I've crunched the numbers, and we absolutely can't rebel against the government on this. If we do, the consequences... Can't be any worse than burning the Constitution. You're exaggerating. This is a temporary measure. Once things settle down... I ain't buying it, Reed. And I can't believe somebody as brainy as you would. Oh, hello. Good timing. Perhaps you can talk some sense into Mr. Cage here. He and Iron Fist seem determined to get arrested. He's the one who needs a reality check. But good luck getting anywhere with that. Are you sure you can get us to Cap without leading them right to him? Got it covered. You just stick with me. But what about the rest? How can we convince... They're gonna have to make their own choice. Stark Richards and Songbird are obviously a lost cause. But maybe. Well, well. Speak of the devil. So you folks made up your minds yet? From what I hear, they ain't gonna give you much more time to sit on the fence. Place safety has been postponed due to an injury. Cap in charge. As long as it takes. Cap took out a squad of those losers without breaking a sweat. I bet you could do the same. I ain't no government puppet, and I assume you feel the same way. There are worse things you could do than risk jail time to do the right thing. Glad to hear it. We're gonna need some real heroes to get through this thing. Anyway, think it over. But like I said, you better hurry up. Hey, you come to a decision yet? For now, yeah, it is. Stanford would never have happened if superheroes had proper oversight. Cap threw any chance of peace away when he put those S.H.I.E.L.D. agents in the hospital.
No one's got a better reason to be paranoid than I do. And I'm telling you, this is the way it's gotta go. Don't be so sure. There's no way the cops or S.H.I.E.L.D. would have handled it with a slugfest in the middle of a suburban neighborhood. Look, I can't make the decision for you. Just remember, we're supposed to protect people. Signing up for training and accountability is the best way to do that. And so, in a worst-case scenario, we'd find ourselves in the equivalent of a super-powered civil war. Heroes so busy fighting each other, the criminals get a free pass. Exactly. That's where you and the Thunderbolts would come in, Melissa. We need you to help S.H.I.E.L.D. keep crime under control while we focus on... Oh, hello again. I'm glad to see you're not going off half-cocked like Luke, Danny, and Eli over there seem to be. We need cooler heads to prevail at a time like this. $1.16. There's morality and there's practicality. I may have personal issues with the act, but I also have hard evidence that if we rebel against it, the entire world's future will be imperiled. So, there's really only one sane choice here. I'm not saying the SRA is evil, but going down a path we know leads to disaster would certainly be irresponsible and foolish. I'm not sure that's been determined. Incarceration, most likely. Those who violently resist might accidentally be harmed. Of course not. But anyone who openly resists law enforcement should know the risk they're taking. I'm sorry, I can't discuss this indefinitely with you. I hope you make the intelligent choice here. Smart move. I'm glad to see you're going through with registration. Congratulations on making the right choice, heroes. The only one you really had. I'll look forward to working with you. No! How could you? Cage told me I should have left with him and Iron Fist, but I didn't believe you'd do this. You damn traitors! Well, looks like your first assignment just walked through the door. Either convince that idiot to register or take him down. Don't be a fool, Patriot. You don't want to be on the run. Shut up! There's nothing you can say to make me join you. You're no fun anymore. You just lie there. An unfortunate introduction to government service for you. I'm sorry it had to come to that. Cage and Iron Fist refused to sign and escaped. And they're apparently not alone. I'm just glad you made the correct decision. Let's head back into the main area. We're gonna have our hands full, I expect. And I'm sure Tony will want to thank you personally once he gets back from Washington. I'm glad to see you're willing to meet with me on civil terms. Once you register, I'm sure we'll have a productive relationship. The paperwork is right here. Step up and sign, please. Because it's the law. And because if you don't, we'll drop you so fast your super little heads will spin. So, what's it gonna be, heroes? Just sign up here and you'll be bona fide law enforcement agents. You're not looking to start trouble, are you? You just made J. Jonah Jameson a very happy man, Webhead. Hey, now, if you're gonna get personal, that really isn't fair, since I've got nothing on you. Apart from that haircut, of course. Don't worry, kid. He'll bounce back from this. Songbird will be fine, too. You made the right choice. I knew you would. Now let's get the hell out of here before we got more of these lackeys to deal with. I don't need to tell you that you've made the right choice. You're here. And that means you understand the reality of our situation. You know what we're up against. Who we're up against. We simply can't restore the public's faith in us while Captain America and his recruits are still playing by the old rules. S.H.I.E.L.D. is going to use their expanded authority to keep supervillain activity in check. That leaves us with responsibility for dealing with the rogue heroes. 
We need to act decisively to end this fast. We have a few leads, and may be close to identifying one or more locations being used as hideouts by the Rebels. Come back here later. By then, we should have something more solid. Welcome to the Resistance. It's good to see there are still heroes like us willing to stand up for what's right. It's also encouraging to see a significant number of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents defecting to our side. They call themselves the White Star, apparently in my honor. I can't tell you we're in for an easy time, though. Stark and S.H.I.E.L.D. have advanced technology and almost unlimited resources at their disposal. Yeah, but none of that matters. What we got is more important. Yes. We have the moral high ground. We know we're in the right. Our path to victory? Convince the public to repeal that law by remaining steadfast. And by showing everyone what it really means to be a hero. We got a lot of operations in the works, so you can count on being asked to help out real soon. Meantime, feel free to explore our command bunker. This abandoned Hydra storage facility is no Stark Tower, I know, but it'll hold up if S.H.I.E.L.D. comes knocking. I hate that it's come to this, but we have a job to do. We'll reconvene at the briefing station when you're ready. Yes? Can I help you? People are responsible for their own actions. Cap's a big boy, and he made his choice. The wrong one. Of course it is. There's no reason for this to have gone so far. But here we are. After Fury went into hiding, the government wanted someone with no personal connection to him to lead S.H.I.E.L.D. A fresh start. No. They let me keep my own boots. That's enough small talk for now. Goodbye. Hello. What can I do for you? They've given us no choice. We've cornered the government enough as it is. If we all refused registration, they'd take every one of us down. There's always hope. With any luck, Cat will give up quickly once we show him what he's up against. I hope so too. We won't win this thing hold up in here. Head over to the briefing station when you're ready for your first mission. Hello there. I haven't heard anything from him since he went underground. I'm sure he's fine, and probably watching everything that's going on from someplace safe. I doubt there's anything that could really keep him down for long. You're right. I've had something of a checkered past. I've made some mistakes, but I want to do the right thing. I'm just grateful the cat took me in. Well, I intend to show him my best from now on. Anyway, I have some work to do for Cap. Nice talking to you. Captain America's people are equipping themselves for a war. We need to cut off their supply lines before they can fortify. We've been tracking some suspicious cargo entering the Jersey City shipyards. We believe it's headed for a hideout being set up by the unregistered heroes. Our original hope was to catch Cap himself. But my money says, Cable is behind this op. He must be establishing this facility to support Captain America wherever he's hiding. Expect strong resistance. Cap's managed to turn a number of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents to his cause. Apparently, they call themselves the White Star in his honor. And I'm sure he sent some of the unregistered heroes in for support. Bishop will be running the show on the ground. If we can shut down this operation, We'll send a powerful message to Captain America and his followers. Move it! We gotta get this cargo inside! Shield could be here any minute. Look sharp! 
Okay, we're all here. Now listen up. Black Widow's going to scout ahead and locate the Rebel hideout. Meanwhile, we'll provide a distraction by destroying this shipment before they can unload it. Don't you worry. Natasha can take care of herself. Now let's get a move on before they realize we're here. Just in time to create the diversion I need. Their base is somewhere nearby. If you distract the guards, I'll find a way to get you in. Watch for me. I'll get you that entry point. See you on the other side. Heads up! They've got grenades! Our base in Jersey City has been discovered by S.H.I.E.L.D. Our people are under attack and need immediate support. Cable was in charge of setting up this operation, but we've lost contact with him. We need to recover weapons crucial to our movement and, more importantly, protect the data Cable had compiled regarding our allies and other prospective base locations. From what we can tell, the base defenses are already compromised. Get there ASAP, and hit those invading shield forces from behind. Then get our people and our intel out of there. Team, this is Cable. Shield is planting explosives to destroy our combat drones. Take out their agents and disable the bombs. I'm dispatching Spider-Woman to support you. They're approaching your position. Take him out. Unregistered capes! Get him! Hey, I don't even have a cape to register. Get onto the boat! Shield's trying to destroy our equipment. We don't have much time! Cables hold up nearby in an old Hydra base we repurposed. Underneath the warehouse just west of here, Shield's advancing on it. You're good. Go! 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 I've sealed the base. The only way through that door is through us. I'm not registering, period. I've been manipulated by those in power before. I won't let our own government do it to all of us. We're not backing down. If you go down this road, you're going to have to take on all of us. That should hold her. The S.H.I.E.L.D. agents could take Spider-Woman in, but the base is still sealed. Your entry point, as promised. This is an old Hydra terrorist base. I recognize the layout. You can get around the blast door through here, but there will be another sealed door inside. There's no way around the inner barrier. You'll have to figure out a way to open it. I will bring Spider-Woman to the detention center. You head inside and find a way through that second blast door. Your stunt in Stark Tower was cute, but this is just lunacy. You're facing down all of S.H.I.E.L.D. and taking on your own government. Stubbornness like that can be a fatal flaw. Regardless, I can't let you go any further. I don't want to fight you, but you're giving me no choice.
Did you honestly think we'd be unable to call in reinforcements, Natasha? Your biggest weakness is your overconfidence. I could easily say the same thing to you, Jessica. You can't win this war. Time will tell. I've disabled Black Widow's security override. Get inside, now! This is as far as I go. I've got to keep the door open from here so you can get through. Cable's uploading a lot of data. You have to reach him before he finishes transferring that intel. The time for talking is over. He's not going down without a fight. Now get a move on. I'll be in touch via radio. certainly proved him right. Come on. You invaded our space. You picked this fight. Maybe you think you're still heroes. But you aren't. Not anymore. And I won't forget what you did here today. capture of Cable, Hercules, and Spider-Woman a few weeks back seems to have put a serious crimp in Cap's plans. Thanks to all our hard work, more unregistered heroes and superpowered criminals are being rounded up every day. Of course, it's one thing to capture them, and quite another to make sure they stay that way. As you may have heard, our massive new holding facility in the negative zone is now up and running. Codename Prison 42. It's a clean, safe, and totally secure detention center for unregistered superhumans. 
Access is possible only through a network of strictly controlled trans-dimensional portals, the first of which is situated deep in the Rikers Island prison. We're still hoping this conflict can be resolved quickly. But in case that's not possible, Prison 42 will serve our cause well. We've built in multiple fail-safes to ensure that it's completely inescapable. It should give unregistered heroes good reason to reconsider their position. We've already enjoyed some victories in this conflict, but we knew we were going to be in for a tough fight. And it looks like Stark and S.H.I.E.L.D. are working overtime. They've been rounding up unregistered heroes and criminals like there ain't no tomorrow. In fact, we hit a running out of room to hold them all. Intelligence obtained by Cable now indicates that the Pro-Reg forces have almost completed construction of a massive new detention facility in the Negative Zone. It appears that the only way to access this new prison is via a network of tightly guarded portals. Obviously, it sounds like a very secure facility. Don't let that rattle you, though. More folks are joining our side every day, and there's no question we can win this thing. Agreed. However, keeping our people out of that prison will be one of our top priorities going forward. Good to have you here, team. Head to the briefing station when you're ready for your next assignment. What can I do for you? <laughs> I don't think so. We might be outlaws and rebels, but we're not traitors. The plan is to win over the people. Show them the Registration Act is wrong. Once we do that, we let the system correct itself. I hope you soon will. Hey there. What can I do for you? I had, for a bit. Until I heard about Cap and his anti-registration movement. Then I realized I had to join the cause. <laughs> it's always good to be around such amazing friends. I can't think of any of my old teammates who'd buddy up to Stark and S.H.I.E.L.D. right now, given what's been going on. I heard that too. When it comes to Robbie, all I care about is that he's alive and doesn't blame himself for what happened. Anyway, good chatting with you. Bye for now. So far, so good. But there's still plenty left to do. We'll meet at the briefing station when you want to get moving. Hello. Something I can do for you? That's right. I'm trying to arrange a plea bargain for him, but... It's turning out to be pretty difficult. <laughs> Being able to turn into a six foot seven gamma powered superwoman does wonders for one's self confidence. It's true. Apparently, one of their teammates took the Stamford incident very badly and started outing the real identities of the other team members. They came to me for help, and I decided they needed some. Well, I have to report back to Iron Man in a bit. Talk to you later. Hello, Reed. What's up? Of course I do. Cap's getting more and more followers every day while we're flat. We need to shore up our numbers. So what else is new? Don't worry so much, Reed. Fortune favors the foolish. Now, sounds like you could use a break. Why don't you take Susan out to a movie or something? Well, I doubt that. But it can't hurt to inquire. Take it from me. They love it when you ask them what they're feeling. Despite our recent victories, 
the anti-registration movement continues to grow. S.H.I.E.L.D. is too busy dealing with opportunistic supervillains to help us. So we've decided to bolster our ranks with some allies you might find... surprising. There are dozens of superpowered criminals now being held in Prison 42. Collectively, they represent a formidable fighting force. Our goal is to harness that potential to help us win this war. Reed? We recovered some highly advanced nanotech from a Latvian attack on New York, and have found a way to use it to control the behavior of higher mammals, including humans. We've injected nanites into the bloodstreams of a number of these incarcerated super felons. The nanites, tiny machines as small as a red blood cell, situate themselves in the host nervous system. This forms an electronic network that we can wirelessly tap into, allowing us to remotely monitor and control these unpredictable but powerful new allies. In addition to the behavior control system, there's also a failsafe. Using it, we can remotely render the host unconscious at any time. The system has passed all preliminary trials, but now it's time for a field test under real-world conditions. That's where you come in. A number of unregistered heroes are about to be transferred to their new homes in Prison 42. You will protect their convoy. And once we feel the time is right, we'll deploy one of our nanite-controlled agents to assist you. If he gets out of line, we'll take care of it. Delivering these prisoners and proving out the nanite control system are two important steps to ending this war once and for all. We just got word that a number of our captured friends are about to be transferred to the negative zone. They'll be sent there using a trans-dimensional portal, which we've discovered is located deep in the Rikers Island Penitentiary. But they must be transferred to Rikers first via convoy. Our best bet to keep our friends out of that prison is to never let them get there in the first place. So, we'll be hitting that convoy hard as it passes through Hell's Kitchen. Unfortunately, there's a complication. We have it on good authority that Stark and S.H.I.E.L.D. are bolstering their ranks with superpowered criminals. They're using some kind of nanite technology to control the behavior of these sociopaths. Don't those reckless fools have any regard for the risks they're taking? <sighs> the point is, we might run into these attack dogs during our rescue op. So watch your backs. The convoy route is heavily defended. You'll need to clear out the anti-air emplacements, so our chopper can get a clear shot at the trucks. Then you can bust out our friends and get them to safety. Here they come! Take positions! Like you never. Whoops, sorry about that, Dr. Richards. Guess I forgot to lock down Venom's vocals. Anyway, my buddy and I are here to help. Widow figured we could give you folks a hand. Got it, sir. He can't move a muscle without my say so. Sorry to interrupt, Dr. Richards, but we've got more White Star inbound across the street. We need you to deal with them. Convoy is now approximately four clicks from your position. Looks like S.H.I.E.L.D. doubled their guard on the anti-aircraft guns. We can't strike the convoy by air until you clear out those gun emplacements. Hit them fast, hit them hard. Well, look who's here. The real heroes. You know, like I used to be, until I refused to sign a piece of paper. I mean, look at you. Do you even see yourselves? You're standing there with Venom, and you still think you're the good guys? Yeah, so was slavery at one point. Doesn't make it right. Shutdown signal worked like a charm. He's in perfect stasis. Okay, I'm gonna bring him back online. The 
Dr. Richards, Egg Pym is requesting that we bring Venom back to HQ. Everything's nominal, but he's detecting some unexpected signal traffic. Probably nothing. Not a lot, sir, if you ask me. There's a slight bit of signal carryover on the network. That's it. We'll be back once they give the all clear. Admit it. You'll miss having this pretty face around. Delta, we still need you on the high line. Use that crane to... Look out! We can risk getting closer now. Stand clear, we'll make a path for you. I might be in charge of handling supervillains while the so-called heroes battle it out. But I bet I'll get a bonus for stopping you traitors. Even if you do beat me, you're still going up against all of S.H.I.E.L.D. Your cause is hopeless. Convoy, this is Widow. The high line is clear. Move out. Madrox is off the leash. Repeat, Madrox is free. Offer. Heads up, Delta Team. Looks like multiple man is on the loose. Take him down before he swarms us. What the hell do you think you're doing here, Reed? Besides tearing up my home turf? I don't know. I do know you guys showed up first. Nothing good can come of all this, Reed. And what's happening here just proves it. Roger that. Just loading them into the new transport now. At four, alternate route Charlie now cleared through 40th Street. Sheesh. You were right about them White Star guys, Stretcho. Seems like they'll stop at nothing. All I know is, they sure ain't acting like heroes. So, I guess you can count me in, Reed. I'm gonna stay here and make sure the cleanup goes nice and smooth. Call me later if you need my help. Okay, Delta Team, back up to the rooftop to continue your sweep. We may not be out of the woods yet. When did everything get so dead, plain complicated? Controlled criminals we heard about. Stay down, ugly! Get a manicure while you're at it. Jeez. Nice to see you fighting bad guys for a change, Matchstick. What was little Miss Fink Nails up to?
Wow, they must really be getting desperate. But like I told Reed, I don't want any part of this war you got going on. But that'd be the same thing as... Sheesh, here we go again. <laughs> These shield guys are out of control. I almost hate to think of them winning with the stuff they're pulling. Jeez, I don't even want to know. Okay, kid, you talked me into it. Let me know what I can do to help. Sorry to interrupt, but we've got trouble. S.H.I.E.L.D. finally figured out we were intercepting their communications. Iron Man's on his way, approaching fast. I can make sure these folks get out okay if you can handle old Shellhead. Sounds like a plan. Liberty Squad, get back up to the rooftops. Keep Iron Man away from the convoy until our people are in the clear. What's the deal with the second transport? Got me. Black Widow. Are you in contact with Transport Beta? We got some unusual behavior here. Negative. They're not responding to our signal. We've got a visual. Wait! We have prisoners escaping from Transport Beta. Repeat. Prisoners escaping on foot. Looks like Captain Stuff broke them out. Step lively. You can keep up, can't you? I'll try to get both men into position. They're crossing the sky bridge, heading right towards you. Cut them off. Did you honestly think we'd let you waltz right through Midtown with our people locked up? Sorry, but you were wrong, in a very big way. Don't let them get away! Better worry about yourselves first.
All transports, you're clear to proceed. We lost two prisoners, but Captain America lost Goliath. I'd say that's a fair trade. Thanks for being such good sports and playing along. You must have realized that you're all far more valuable targets than anyone in that convoy. Enough to put you on the top 100 richest list. But my armor is hardly your biggest concern right now. Speaking of which... Now don't play too rough with your new toys, Hank. Aw, oh, you never let me have any fun. of the pro-reg leadership make it clear our resistance movement is working. It's just a matter of time before public opinion turns firmly in our favor and the Registration Act becomes history. However, it's not over yet. Stark and S.H.I.E.L.D. have already proven they'll stop at nothing to try to break us. We must remain ready to face them at any moment, while also doing whatever we can to protect the public during this chaotic time. The nanite-controlled criminals we enlisted have made a huge difference in our struggle to both fight crime and deal with the unregistered heroes. We now have dozens of these agents in Prison 42, ready to support us at a moment's notice. The tide may be turning in our favor, but the longer this conflict drags on, the greater the chance of devastating repercussions. We intend to find a way to end this thing as quickly and cleanly as possible. Given what you've done for our side so far, we know you'll be a big part of that solution. We're working on a plan to bring the anti-reg forces to us. Come to the briefing station when you're prepared to join in. Hey there, what's up? Apparently we need all hands on deck, so here I am. I believe it's the law of the land. That's enough for me. I haven't gotten there yet. Jail sells for superheroes, though. Never thought I'd see the day. I chose the side that my friend asked me to. For now, that's enough. Gotta run. Catch you later. Yes? to Geffen Meyer. We will be once you decide on a venue.
or unless my instincts tell me it's time. I don't intend to squander our best chance to close this thing out. <sighs> don't worry, hero. I'm a professional. Hi, Reed. Great. Better to confront them in a place of our choosing anyway. I guess you're forgetting that the last time Cap fell cornered, he single-handedly took out two squads of cape killers. I want this set up so that no matter which way Cap goes, we win. Let's lock down as many as we can. We can fill in the rest with brute force. I know it's been intense, but we can't afford to rest much around here. Take a breather. Then when you're ready, head to the briefing station. Hey there. What's the latest? Me too. I still can't believe there are mutants who'd side with the government on this. Like Bishop, for example. You mean the Nanite-controlled mutant criminals? Sure, they get a pass. But Bishop? No excuse. I know what it means to come from an unpleasant future and be transplanted in the past. You can't let it consume your life or cloud your judgment. What's wrong is wrong. It's too late for that. Way too late. Hi there. How are you doing? If we don't register, they'll throw us in jail. So the way we see it, this is our fight too. We all have to do our part. It is true. However, I must tell you that the journey is not always pleasant for those who choose to make it. Those who enter my cloak rarely do so by choice. Sorry, can't talk more now. Later. This superpowered civil war has gone on for too long. It's time to finish it. And with any luck, we can do it without firing a shot. We're going to lure the anti reg forces to an unpopulated location by faking a major disaster. Once they arrive, we'll cut off any and all avenues of escape. Then, we'll be in a position to offer them one last chance to lay down their arms and register. If they refuse, we'll still have them trapped with nowhere to run. You'll help guard the perimeter. If things get ugly, make sure Cap and his crew don't escape. We just received word of a major disaster at a chemical plant in New Jersey. Details are sketchy, but hundreds of workers may be trapped. We've got to get those innocents out of danger. Of course. But we're well aware this could be a trap set by our friends. That's why we'll be using Cloak to teleport us in. He can get us right back out if there's any trouble. Okay. Let's rescue those workers. Besides being the right thing to do, it might make it even more obvious why being a hero shouldn't be against the law. How many trapped workers did the radio say? Over 300. But something's weird. I'm not getting anything over my info net. No panic signals, nothing. What's wrong, Cable? Look, get us out of here! It's a trap! Of course it's a trap. How else were we gonna get you all in one place? Skybird 1, is the area fully cordoned? Roger, perimeter sealed. No one's leaving the zone without our say-so. Copy that. Stand by. Stand by? <laughs> you and S.H.I.E.L.D. going soft, Tony? We didn't come here to arrest you, Cap. I talked S.H.I.E.L.D. into offering all of you a chance at amnesty. You mean surrender? Thanks, but uh, I think I'd rather take my chances. Cap, please. You know how hard I tried to fight this. But that was before Stamford. The public doesn't want secret identities anymore. Registration is the only way to make them feel safe when we're around. 
Just give me a chance to tell you our plans for my 21st century overhaul. You've got five minutes. That's all I'll need. What the hell? You like ambushes, huh? And you're gonna love this! Good job handling those kids, Delta. You've got more unregistered combatants ahead. We'll send a nanite agent to support you. Osborne's free and clear. Sending him to support Delta. But fools to ally with a madman like Bullseye. Even if you do keep him on a nanite lead. Our allies are heading this way, but S.H.I.E.L.D. is watching our every move from the helicarrier. Dr. Foster has identified non-toxic chemical tanks that can be destroyed. This will create a smokescreen to block S.H.I.E.L.D.'s view. Once that is done, I will keep this path open for our escape. I expect the Captain will join us in due time. Though he is perhaps relishing this counterattack a bit too much. Peter! They're here. So, we show up to help people in trouble. But you come to haul us to your negative zone gulag. Of course not. We don't bargain with underhanded thugs. War machine. Delta Squad is ready to assist you in taking down Cap. Roger that. I'm pursuing him now. Delta, get a move on. I want that Star Spangled Traitor head on a plane. Last warning shot, Dagger. Step away from Cloak. Molten Man's next volley will put you in the burn unit. You people are out of your minds. I'm not leaving. You are. You idiots. Cap's completely lost it. Gets handed a ridiculously generous offer and punches us in the face for extending it. How far will you follow that zealot? Fine. We'll be happy to help you with the first half of that trip. Good job, team. Let's give Dagger a chance to revive Cloak. Colossus, you stay with her to help stand guard. The rest of you, get to that elevator. Cap could use some backup and fast. won't have such an easy time with me. We need to give repair systems. Some time. Not gonna happen, Tony! I think your interference has gone on long enough. Reed! Uh, could use some backup here! Just once, it would be nice if things went according to plan. You're going down. 
amnesty, huh, Tony? Like you'd offer a common criminal? Who needs amnesty now? You still don't get it. Still won't accept where you're pushing things. Don't start with that again. Reed can crunch his numbers till the cows come home. It won't change right from wrong. Sometimes you have to do the wrong thing at the right time to save everything that matters. Nothing can justify what you're doing. Nothing on... What's that sound, Stark? Don't move a muscle or... Don't worry. Not gonna move. Cable, we had Stark cornered, but he got away. Any read on his position? Negative. But we think Cloak might be recovered enough to... Fine. Get anyone who's seriously wounded to his location for evac. Everyone else stays. We're finishing this. I'll meet up with you in a bit. I'm not done with Stark yet. Cap, we can't risk you getting captured. Not discussing it, Cable. You've got your orders. What are you waiting for? Get to Cloak and make sure the wounded get out safely. Think you've got us trapped? Think again! for now. Back me up, Iron Fist. This shouldn't take long. Got it. you and Cage some medical attention. Oh, how generous of you. You'll make a just and fair... What, uh, shield commander? President? You must be kidding. You think that's what this is all about? Ah, oh, wait, that's right. They don't elect drunks to the White House. Don't go there. Maybe you'll be able to settle for just being drunk with power. I don't... <laughs>
I need your help. Something big's going down. Those villains Stark's been controlling have gone off the leash. They set up a trap on the Cortex that could blow everyone here to Kingdom Come. I knew I could count on you. Come on. We need to head to the central facility of the plant. I'll stabilize the bombs and toss them to you. Then you dispose of them. Oh, and uh, keep those two busy, would you? Who's back in the land of the living? Uh, where am I? What happened? You're in a secret shield base that only I know about. Hmm, well, I guess now you know about it too. You guys did a good job of buying me time to defuse those bombs. I got most of them. But not all. up to me to save you. While you healed up, I tried to warn Stark about what really happened. Oh, come on, Tony! I'm telling you, those mind-controlled criminals of yours were completely out of control! They're the ones who rigged the explosions! I tried to... And I'm telling you, it's impossible. Our records show the villains were accounted for the entire time. Someone hijacked him. I saw it myself. I don't know what your angle is this time, old man. And frankly, I don't care. I've got a war to win. Either help me do that, or get out of the way. Well, things didn't go much better with old wingtips, either. Sorry, Fury. You've got no evidence. And I need more than your word these days. Besides, if Stark's attack dogs really are turning on him and S.H.I.E.L.D., so much the better. Serve them right. They can deny it all they want, but something big is going down. Maybe even bigger than this civil war you're all having so much fun with. Someone out there's trying to take advantage of the situation. Maybe by now I could have figured out who, if I hadn't been too busy playing nursemaid to you grunts. You owe me. And since you're all presumed dead by both sides, you're the perfect little group to check out of this war, at least for a bit, to help me figure this thing out. You with me? Yes, Nick. We are with you. Hey, how's it going? Sure, I'm sure. I didn't want no part of it to start with. I eventually got roped into choosing a side, but I should have stuck with my gut. Yeah, exactly. I just hope we can help shut this one down before something really bad happens. I wouldn't be here if I didn't. I know the guy can be a bit shady, but his heart's always in the right place. Yeah, I see that too. Now if only Cap and Shellhead would wake up and smell some of that coffee. Well, it's been real. Talk to you later, pal. All right, listen up. Tinkerer here has been trying to figure out who might be pulling the strings of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s nanite criminals when no one's looking. Since I had some 
involvement in the original nanotechnology S.H.I.E.L.D. has converted for their use, I was optimistic that I could puzzle out the situation with the data already available. However, that has not proven to be the case. I have nothing more than conjecture at this point. In order to determine what's really happening, I will need to view the networking logs for S.H.I.E.L.D.'s nanite control grid. Unfortunately, their signal is highly encrypted. It could take years to break their code and directly access their servers. But we don't have time for that, obviously. The shorter and quicker routes to physically transmit that data directly from their servers, which we've discovered are located in Rikers Island Penitentiary. So that's where you're headed. Now, don't worry. I know trying to bust into that place on your own would be near impossible, since it also contains the portal to Stark's negative zone prism. But we got information that Captain America and his forces are about to stage a prison break to release their buddies from the negative zone. They'll have to smash through Rikers to get there. We'll take advantage by having you piggyback on their incursion. While they're driving toward the portal, you follow in their wake and get that data sent to us. Then we can figure out who the hell's grabbing control of these psychos and why. I thought we finished you off at the chemical plant. Not going to happen, traitors. To be. She's going for her chopper. Fine, take the key. Go help Captain America or whatever you think you need to do. But there's an army on the other side of that portal waiting to stop you. I'll enjoy interrogating you when this is all over. Not so fast. I've got my orders. <sighs> You won't get past me! You won't! Oh man, they're all loose! unknown megalomaniac might be overriding shields nanite control signals with intentions unknown however the truth is much stranger and potentially much more troubling there is no secret mastermind pulling the strings of these criminals the network that links their minds has become large and complex enough to emerge as its own intelligence a neural net whose intellect grows each time they inject another host with the nanites. The only reason this thing hasn't already spread like wildfires is because S.H.I.E.L.D. lets just a few of them out at a time. Correct. If the entire group were released from lockdown, they could escape Prison 42 and quickly spread across the Earth like a techno-plague. Everyone would eventually become part of its collective consciousness. We already saw they could override S.H.I.E.L.D. control. Wouldn't there be any way to stop them? To determine that, I would need a pure, untainted sample of the nanite material. One that hasn't yet been injected into a host. Okay, they must have some of that in their negative zone jailhouse. And we won't get a better chance to head in there and grab some of that stuff than right now, while the heroes are still beating the crap out of each other. I'm gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Sit tight till I arrive to help you out. Ugh. Teleporting makes my skin crawl. But you'll need my help, and I can't send a decoy into the negative zone. Signal won't cross over. I expect Cap and Iron Man will still be butting heads in there. Let's move while they're distracted.
this is the best shot we're gonna get to break into that prison. We gotta take it. Otherwise, nobody will be sitting on an antidote that could save humanity from this thing. Huh. And I thought everyone was too busy fighting each other to watch out for innocence. Let me help. I can activate the portal for you. Thanks, Robbie. Go on through. I'll be ready to help you anytime. easier getting into this place than getting out. I'll head to the portal control room to make sure this gate's open for us when it's time to book. The nanite labs are a few levels below us. Head down there and grab us that pure sample. I'll meet you back here. Yeah, plenty. Let's stick to the plan and you can help your friends later. I'll let you know when I reach the control room. From there, I should be able to help clear your way. Now get going! We'll never reach the jail cells at this rate. Are those the conduits we saw in the schematics? Yeah. The only exposed power cables for both the main systems and the backups. Those get cut, and all the cells open up, including Shield's remote control super criminals? You got it. But the release prisoners might give Shield more than they can handle, at least for a few minutes. It could help cover our escape. until you busted in here and released them all. Gentlemen, I suggest we focus on getting our people out of here alive. Where did you... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Look, we need your help. Something's gone wrong with S.H.I.E.L.D.'s nanite control system. So you just left us high and dry on Fury's say-so? There's a word for that. Steve, we don't have time to go over this. It's going to take teamwork to get everyone out in one piece. You're right. But this portal's offline. We're going to need to fight for the escape inmates to get power flowing to it again. It won't be easy. They've hijacked the wireless network we set up for them, and are somehow using it to make themselves nearly invulnerable. You have. Okay then. Sounds like a plan. 
Get power flowing to this portal. Go to the top of the cell blocks to access the power conduits. Cap and I can hold this portal as a rally point. If you're able to rescue anyone along the way, send them back here. And I'm sorry about what I said before. You and Fury were fighting this threat while the rest of us were just fighting each other. I only hope it's not too late. Get me out of here! They're trying to turn me into one of them! Good job getting Firestar out. Send her our way. We'll have to get down to the lower level to restore power. Fury behind you. Hmm. Closed off from the other side. What do you think it means? Did Fury detonate? Step to one side, Captain. You and your friends here are under arrest. For Pete's sake, Hill, these people need medical attention. He's right. Lower your weapons and call in the medics. No, Stark. I'm under direct orders from the President. The SRA dictates that these unregistered... We're giving everyone temporary amnesty on my authority. At least until we figure out what just happened. If you have a problem with that, Commander Hill, you're going to have to take it up with all of us. Get the medics down here. So many lives apparently lost. And yet lost so that many more lives might be saved. We may not know the true fate of Nicholas Fury, but we do know he showed his willingness to sacrifice himself on behalf of us all. For him, and for the rest of the missing and presumed deceased, we ask Almighty God to watch over their souls. Amen. I've got to hand it to Fury. I'm not sure we ever would have found this place if you hadn't led us here. The man knew what was at stake. That's why he showed us this place. Too bad he had to die before the rest of you paid attention to him. You're right, but... I'm not ready to buy that Fury and the others are dead. Not yet. We found no bodies, detected no explosion. How can we be sure what really happened? Tony and I have already been over this a dozen times. We can't be sure. Not without a working portal to the negative zone. And that will take us weeks to bring online. Great. So in the meantime, it just goes down as a mystery? Yes. But we do have some evidence of Fury's success. I've been monitoring, and there's still no sign of the Nanite Collective signals here on Earth. It's a shame the Tinkerer seems to have escaped. I was hoping his research would corroborate my own. Still, I believe I can use this scanner to confirm that the Nanites haven't... Oh, no. What is it? Nanite control signals. Hundreds. Maybe thousands of them. Fury failed? We all failed. We lost our way. And now the world pays the price. We're facing what looks like a full-scale invasion. Let's meet at the briefing station ASAP. Maybe you should pick your favorite. You did what you thought was right. We need to focus on this new threat now. You are the expert. I'll leave it to you. In the span of just a few hours, the world has gone insane. The Nanite Collective's agents are swarming all over the globe. 
infecting key victims in an apparent bid to eliminate all serious resistance to their expansion. Their movements seem methodical and well-coordinated. They must have used Prison 42's portal system to move this fast. Worse, time is on their side. If we can't stamp this out quickly, it will grow to encompass all of humanity. In the face of this new threat, the Registration Act has been temporarily suspended to allow us to work together. We're deploying teams around the world, but the most explosive situation right now is in the African nation of Wakanda, which has reported a massive incursion into their capital city. Ruled by our friend T'Challa, also known as the Black Panther, Wakanda is a highly advanced country blessed with the world's only deposits of vibranium. Your knowledge of the Nanite Collective makes you the best team to send into this combat zone. Do whatever it takes to help Black Panther defeat these invaders and regain control of his country. Thank goodness you're here, my friends. No time for pleasantries, though. The enemy have our city surrounded and are firing on us with siege cannons. Please take off those guns. We can't hold out against them much longer. Thank you, heroes. Your help is most welcome. The nanites are spreading. The escaped inmates have infected hordes of mercenaries, and now they have come for us. We must stop their assault before they take the city. The cannons are our primary target. I shall. It will be an honor to fight alongside you. Come. They have more artillery ahead. I will open the security fields for you. Is that Havoc? What's he doing here? while we go secure their palace. You were compromised by the Nanite Collective, not killed. Ooh, look at that big brain working it. You're gonna be a huge help to the fold once you join up. I have no intention of doing anything of the kind. Yeah, they never do. It's always the same. But maybe I can uh, spare you some of that pain. What do you mean? Your friends in Stark Tower. Wanna save them? You and your party join the fold now, willingly, and we'll back off in New York. Fold. Why would a collective like yours even need a name? We don't. But throwbacks like you seem to need labels. So while we're mopping the rest of you up, we'll keep it. For your sake. How considerate of you. Yeah, we thought so. Anyway, about Stark Tower. We got a deal? Absolutely not, Fury. Only a fool would willingly join your collective. 
I would have thought you'd be more flexible on this, but uh, in the end, it ain't gonna matter. Thank you. Without your aid, I shudder to think what would have become of my homeland. Now, what should we do with these two? The fall of Stark Tower was just the beginning. Over the past few weeks, the Fold has aggressively ramped up its campaign to take over all of humanity. Many of our closest friends and allies remain unaccounted for. We have to assume they've been taken into the Fold. It's no coincidence, either. The Fold's primary targets are clearly superhumans. And thanks to the acquisition of Fury and his decades of intel, they've been able to make serious inroads in expanding the Collective's power base. Fortunately, Fury's knowledge of Wakanda isn't comprehensive, which is why we've been using Black Panther's palace as our temporary base of operations. Fold forces were unable to retrieve Venom and Green Goblin after you defeated them. Using the pure nanite samples your team obtained from Prison 42, we've been able to cure these two criminals of their infection. Venom and Goblin both claim a strong desire to help us stop the Fold. They're not the most trustworthy of allies, but frankly, we can't afford to turn them away. With the Fold growing exponentially, infecting entire populations at a time, it's becoming obvious we can't win a war of attrition against them. Their network seems to be the key only find a way to disrupt it. Unfortunately, they've clearly been taking steps to make that all but impossible. Our best minds are working hard to devise a strategy to defeat the Fold before it becomes unstoppable. We'll let you know if and when we come up with anything solid. My home is yours, friends. Everything here is at your disposal. Let us meet at the briefing station when you are ready to act. Hey. How's it going? I don't know what to think anymore. But if the Fold takes over, the future I knew will look almost appealing in some ways. Point taken. I'm just saying we can't let either of those futures happen. At least we know they can't both happen. It's a good question. They know we're here, but seems like right now they have other fish to fry. I hadn't heard that, but it wouldn't surprise me. Sorry, I've got some stuff to take care of. Later. Analysis of full technology retrieved after the liberation of Wakanda has revealed details about the Collective and how it's spreading. We are now aware of massive repeater towers being erected at secret locations around the globe at an astonishing rate. These heavily defended towers are clearly being built to extend the reach of their network. Like the Internet, their grid is adaptive and seems highly resistant to being completely shut down. So trying to destroy the towers would be an inefficient use of our time and resources. However, we might still have an ace in the hole. Our nanite stasis signal should still function, if we could only broadcast it on their network. Their encryption makes that impossible to do from the outside. But if we were able to take control of one of their repeater towers and send the signal from there, it just might work. We've identified only one tower that is central enough to reach the entire fold before they could react. If we were able to infiltrate this enemy base and send the shutdown signal, all members of the Fold would be paralyzed, allowing us to round them up and cure them of the Nanite infection. It sounds simple, but won't be easy. Iceland was one of the first countries to be completely overtaken by the Collective. However, this may be our only shot at defeating the Fold. If we fail here, we'll have revealed our only trump card, and they won't give us another chance once they figure out what we're up to.
We'll get as close to the tower as we can without attracting their attention. From there, we'll have to fight through their defenses, make our way into the base, and send out that signal. selected the painless option. Instead, you chose this. Signal of yours for good. 
In another minute, it will all be so clear. Multitudes. Stretch. I can make it. Smart guy. But I'll take a shield nurse over him any day. So, how are you feeling? <laughs> How's it look like I'm feeling? Could be a lot worse, all things considered. Everyone else who was infected is pretty much recovered, but the stuff the Tinkerer put in you was ten times... Yeah, I know! But believe me, I know. Listen, guys, uh, <clears throat> about all this, I... Uh, well, I, I, ju I just want him to... Uh... You can stop there, Nick. There's plenty of blame to go around, on all sides, and plenty of cleaning up yet to do. Yeah, there is that. I know you'll put it right. Get things back to where they used to be. I'm not sure things will ever be quite the same as they used to be. No, but that doesn't mean they can't be good again. And so, with the global battle against the Fold now won, thanks in large part to the combined efforts of the world's superheroes, Congress this week voted to overturn the Superhuman Registration Act. Additionally, all members of the anti-registration movement have been granted full amnesty by the President. Does this mean the country's superheroes can get back to doing what they do best? Former anti-reg movement leader Captain America, speaking earlier today at a Lincoln Memorial rally, said he hoped so. During this conflict, nearly all of us got distracted from a hero's main responsibility, to help those who need it most. Now, thanks to the actions of a small but steadfast team, we've been given another chance. We must not squander it, and we won't. We saw what could happen if all individuality were lost. But we were also reminded that there are some things we can only accomplish when we're united. Now, our alliance stands reforged, ready to meet whatever challenge might be next, together.